I'm Gwendolyn Richards, the food writer from the Calgary Herald, and we're back for another round of cooking the books. This time we have the one from the Duchess Bake Shop, which is this fantastic bakery in Edmonton, and they have compiled some of their best recipes into here so you can make them at home. Today we're making cream puffs, which is one of my all-time favorite desserts. Let's get started. The first step in making a cream puff is making the pâte au choux, which is the pastry. And what we're starting with is some milk and water, um, uh, butter, salt, sugar, and we're just gonna bring it to a simmer. Then we're gonna dump all that flour in and stir like the dickens. It's gonna be a gooey mess initially, and then it thickens right up. So it is all in a ball and ready to go and all we have to do is dump it into our mixer so that we can add some eggs. We are ready to pipe and I'm going to confess here that you could definitely use an actual piping bag with a tip, which is what you're supposed to do, but I'm kind of a budget cook and so I just use a freezer bag that I've snipped the end off. Um, obviously do whatever feels good for you and here we go just before they go into the oven we run um, a little egg wash over this is egg yolk and a bit of whipping cream and you also want to press down any points otherwise they will get burnt so they go into the oven for half an hour and the hardest part of this recipe is you are not allowed to peek until that half hour is up Oh, you're looking so pretty! Puff, my little babies, puff! Once the 30 minutes is over, we actually let them bake for another five, but we have to stick a wooden spoon into the oven to prop it open so that the steam can escape and they can crisp up. Our cream puffs are out of the oven and have cooled slightly, and they are perfect. They are hollow inside, which is exactly what you want because you want to stuff them with things. Now, traditionally, I would normally put whipped cream in there, but the recipe calls for pastry cream, which I've made in advance. It's just milk and cornstarch, sugar, egg yolks. Mine turned out really liquidy, and I'm not quite sure what was up with that, but hopefully you guys will have better luck. So basically, I've poked a little hole in here with a chopstick, and I'm just going to insert the tip of the piping bag and squeeze and fill that bad boy up. And what I have here is a chocolate sauce. And who doesn't love a good chocolate sauce? And I'm just going to dip that in. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to eat one of those? Thanks everyone for joining me today as I made cream puffs from the Duchess Bake Shop's cookbook. You can get the full recipe in the article and join me next time.